Good morning, Chica Dos and Chica Dees. Today is Tuesday, November 10th, and this is your In Case You Missed It video. So again, don't forget to do your attendance checks every day. That is how I'm counting attendance. Um, I'm going through and um, updating attendance. I'm fixing attendance because I'm noticing that Schoology is making some errors. I have a meeting about that uh, with our vice principal today just to kind of see what is going on because I'm seeing a lot of errors. So on, for you, Keep an eye on your attendance. Make sure that you are uh, being counted present when you're doing the Schoology assignment that day, you're doing the attendance check, you're attending the Zoom. You know, raise questions, ask questions, call your, or uh, talk to your teachers. Like, hey, I was in class yesterday, I submitted this assignment, but I was counted absent. Can you please update me on this? Just something, because the system that we have has some errors. So I'm gonna look in that today when speaking with Mr. Fernandez, our new VP, and see where we go from that. But always ask questions when in doubt. But do the mandatory checks for me because that counts as attendance. You can always email me, jump on the Zoom call with me, or submit the day's assignment uh, on that day. Any activity with the teacher or on Schoology on that day by 11.59 p.m. counts for attendance for that day for that class period, so please. I heard on the intercom yesterday that picture day is coming up. So if you still wanted to get some of your school pictures done, I believe they are doing it on November 12th and 13th, which is tomorrow and Friday. And I know they're by appointment only. I believe the information is on the school website. So don't forget to go to nisd.net slash Warren and find some more info there or call the school. But picture day by appointment only November 12th and 13th. That's what I heard yesterday on the intercom. Um, also, don't forget your portfolio was due yesterday. So if you're still struggling with it, working with it, guys, no worries. I'm taking it. I want you to be successful. I know things are a little discombobulated right now because you have your home life uh, meshing in with your school life. I get it. Um, so jump on the Zoom call. I'll help you. I'm also on for tutoring tonight from 6 to 10 p.m. through the, the virtual talk to or the virtual tutoring, uh, the student homework support. Um, so jump on and tutoring with me tonight and I'll walk you through it. I'll help you through it. And remember, time spent with a tutor after school in that six to 10 time period counts as attendance retrieval. All right, so if you forgot how to go to it, when you go to your portal and you look at all those pretty little tiles that most of us don't know what's going on, we don't know what they do, you're gonna look for this tile, the one with the computer and the woman with the little mic set, you're gonna click on it and if you click on this one here in our main page for Schoology for English, it does the same thing. You're going to fill out student, email, phone number, grade level, campus, put it more in high school, subject. You do one or two things. One, go for a tutor. Get help with me for English, with math, science, history. Or if you're like, no, what? I just need, I just need to do attendance retrieval. I just need to uh, recover my attendance, make up my attendance. I, I just need a place I can just do work then select attendance recovery. And so it means you don't need help from a tutor, you just need to make up attendance, select attendance recovery, and then for the course, tell us what course you want that attendance to be, um, to be transferred to, okay? So if you're doing English, put English, English three, and then you'll get help with an English tutor or math or science. It's math, algebra two, pre-cal, uh, stats, again, whatever class it is. But if you're just doing attendance recovery, you're just making up time, then click attendance recovery and then the course section, tell us what course you wanted those hours, minutes attributed to. So you want it to your math course, your English course, your science course, so on and so forth. Let us know if you're a virtual kid or in-person kid. And in the message, you can say, I'm just here for attendance recovery, or I need help with my essay or my English portfolio or the stats, quadratic equations, again, what have you, you do it. And remember, we're on tonight from 6 to 10 p.m. Um, I'll be on for English, so if you need any help with your assignments, especially the portfolio, come see me. We are on, and that time counts as attendance recovery. If you haven't made up time with, or had an appointment with your counselor, if you missed last week's Zoom meetings, please find out who your counselor is, and if you don't remember, if you go to resources, go to info for our class WHS, and you click on how to contact your counselor. Click on the counselor info link. 
There is the list of all the counselors along with their extensions and their email. So you can send them an email saying, like, I missed last week's counselor visit. Can we schedule a meeting this week or next week? Um, and then they'll take it from there. Or click on this link right here where it says Warren request to see a counselor. Fill it out and they'll get back with you. All right. So if you haven't made time to see your counselor, please do so soon. They need to talk to you. The ASVAB test is coming up. I know we've been discussing it. All information is here at this link. This is from the counselors. I just kind of put it there for y'all. Uh, take it. It's free and it is a great insight to affirm what you know you want to do when you grow up or when you graduate from high school or maybe to expose you to different possibilities, whatever the case is. Take the ASVAB test. It's free gets you out of class on that Friday and um, is it and it's no way affiliated with the military meaning just because you take it doesn't mean you're making the commitment to join the military and no, it's not like that the ASVAB is a military test but we're just using it for y'all kind of like a BuzzFeed quiz like what kind of bread are you what kind of Disney princess are you just what kind of career is great for you so take the ASVAB it's fun and then again, get on that attendance recovery. Make sure that you are making up your absences in all your classes because we have four more weeks, uh, this week included, before the semester ends. And then we go away for Christmas break. So this week, next week, one week off for Thanksgiving, one week, the second week, and then we're gone for Christmas, the four winter break. So it's coming up fast. Take care of it. And also, your other, if you are in an AP class and you're going to be taking that AP exam in May for college credit, registration ends this Friday. So make sure if you are in an AP math, science, history, art, what have you, whatever AP class you have on your schedule and you're taking the test, all that, the registration ends this Friday. So make sure you get into your college uh, AP classroom and sign up for the test. Or if you chose maybe, be sure to select yes or no. And if it's a yes, make sure you make your payments. If you have any questions about that, email it to me and I'll forward it to Mr. Weisler because he's the one in charge of it. This is above my pay grade. So again, AP test, if you're if that's on your schedule for all your other classes, uh, registration for that exam in May and payment for that exam in May is due this Friday. So take, take care of it, guys. All right, if you have any questions, you need anything, you just want to talk or check in and say hi. Come on the Zoom call, and I'll be on till 4.15, or you can email me, and tonight I'll be on for tutoring. All right, I love y'all. Have a wonderful day, and make good choices. Bye, guys.